to my channel, Playing With Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. We are going to be doing day 22 of the daily scripture writing. So before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you could share the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. So, like I was saying, we're doing day 22 of John 12, 44 through 46. We are finally on the back side. This is all I have left. I'm so excited. So I'm going to blow this up just a little bit. And I'm going to mark off day 22. So that only leaves me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 more days. Before I'm completely done, and nine more days till we completely move into the new place. So this you can find on swtblessings.com. They have, you know, how they did it. This is the way I wrote it out. We're focusing on the word light. And you can find it in the description below. Which is on every single day. So if you miss, you know, looking in the description... Say on the 21st, it's on the 20th and up. It'll be on the 22nd and the 21st. So every single day we'll have the scripture. And June only has 30 days. So the 31 is, let me write a bonus. Because, again, June only has 30 days. So if you choose to do 31, that was a bonus. So, yeah. And this is how we decorate it with a nice pretty washi. So what I used is for the top and bottom, I used this one with the floral. And for the butterflies, I just used this one, which is going to be in different colors. So as you can see. There you go. So I'm move this out the way and bring the Bible. So it's not too bad. It looks like a lot of verses, but it's really not. And I'm going to go ahead and go with pink. And I'll flip this in so it's not distracting. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So, 12, 24. I'm going to try to go with pink, like I was saying. I don't know how well this one will write. I'm just trying to use everything I own. I'm not liking it. So, let me try this pink. Much better. So, we're on... Here is John 12. We're looking for 44. So it's this whole paragraph to 46. It says, Then Jesus cried out, Whoever believes in me does not believe in me only, but in the on but in the one who sent me. Okay, so let me read it again. On 44. Then Jesus cried out, Whoever believes in me does not believe in me only but in the one who sent me. 45. I just seen something flying at me. The one who looks at me is seeing the one who sent me. In 46. I have come into the world as a light. Yeah, it's a little net or something. So that no one would, no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. So I'm going to repeat, repeat that one because I kind of messed up on that one. I'm trying to worry about a little gnat. I have come into the world as light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. So again, we're focusing on the word light. So that's why it's in there. And yeah. So how was everybody and what do you take from the verse? With me, I'm doing pretty well. We're finally getting things together with the move. And if you're new to the channel, I am moving from one apartment to a house apartment. So it's a house, but then upstairs they are running out later on in a couple months. An apartment. If that makes sense. I just can't wait to get completely moved in because I do not like having one stuff in one apartment and one in another. That just drives me insane. And then just the moving is like, oh, Jesus. He needs to take the wheel on that one. 
because the moving process is ridiculous like it's so unorganized and when you're married to somebody that likes to get things done right away it makes it difficult like he wants to take a load every single day in his car because we're getting a truck on Wednesday so from I think we started moving the week this week and now it's just like taking the wind out of me I've been falling asleep during the day and I never take a nap like never rarely if I'm sick yeah if I'm like drained yeah but I rarely ever take a nap and this week I've been ooh, knocking out at least this weekend I've been doing that and then again I don't go to bed until 2 in the morning so it makes it even harder to stay up. But that has always been me. With going to sleep late. But this one's almost done. I'm surprised. You see all these verses and you're like, this is going to be a big one. And it's really not. So if anyone is hesitant of doing scripture writing, I would not because if you're thinking, oh, it's going to take way too much of my time. I'm already on the last verse, which is 1246, and I did an intro, and we're only at six minutes. So it does not take long. And if you don't decorate your page, it's going to be even faster. So I would never like be like, no, I'm not going to do it. It takes too long. It really does not. I encourage everyone to scripture write. And if you feel like you're not getting anything, you know, from scripture, scripture writing, keep reading the verse that you're going to scripture write until you do. Until it sinks in. And again, we're focusing on light. So, yeah. So leave a comment on what you think. I would love to hear what you think of the verse. If everybody would interact, this channel would grow so, you know, rapid. And I want this channel to grow, so it's just not a couple people commenting. But it's fine. I love every single one of you. And again, look at this. I am finished. I don't think I'm going to be able to put another washi. Because then I would only have, well, yeah, let me try it. I was thinking we're only going to have this section left, but any section is better than no section, right? I love this washi tape, and I love how I did this with the... This is an acetate from Michaels, and all you do is cut it down to, you know, the look you want it. I wanted to round the corners before, but I forgot to when I did this. But look at how cute this looks. Putting it in your Bible or something as a bookmark. And you can mark pages, whatever. You can use this for anything. And I'm just pulling some off. I've had this on there for a long time. And then you just end your verse like this. And I think it looks very pretty like that. Um, scissors. And this is the daily scripture writing for day 22. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. And please leave a comment, share, and give it a big thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.